Tonight, though, the Education Ministry has rescinded its decision on payment of school fees, directing institutions to be lenient on parents who had not paid school fees after it emerged that parents from well-off families were taking advantage and failing to clear the balances. As Marianne Nyambura now reports, the new directive by CS Magoha to school heads to send pupils with fees arrears back home has left many parents pondering their next move to ensure they clear the debts. Over 10 million learners in primary and secondary schools have resumed learning after their midterm break. But a crisis in the learning institutions looms after the Education Ministry ordered parents to pay school fees without any delays or risk having their children sent back home by the school heads. Our population is a very interesting one. The majority of the people who are not paying fees can afford to pay fees. My exception is that uh, the head teachers and principals should double check and ensure that the child they are sending home is not from a very poor and indigent family or a family that a family has lost a job. The government had in November last year softened its stance on payment of school fees owing to the challenges brought about by the global health pandemic. However, barely six months since, the cabinet secretary claims that many children from well-off families form the largest number of those who had fees arrears. Many people are taking advantage. I think uh, the principal should be able to confirm if you are very sure that the child is extremely poor or parents have no way of getting the fee, you can return. But otherwise, feel free now to administer. By all means, uh, people who have not paid fees the decision has, however, left many parents in limbo and with multiple questions on just how the school heads will determine which people is from a well-off or underprivileged family. Challenge. Naomi Wamboi, who has two children in secondary school and one at primary level, says the COVID disruption has had an adverse effect on her hawking business. <laughs> As parents begin to contend with these changes, more than one million candidates who sat their KCPE exams and had their results released last month will receive their secondary school admission letters in the next two weeks. We have ensured that there is absolute fairness, more especially for the children who are intelligent and are poor from the slum areas. The government has already disbursed 9.3 billion shillings to both primary and secondary schools across the country to ensure a smooth learning process. Mirianya Mura, Citizen TV.